Hey guys, so now that iOS 17 is officially out to everyone, I'm sure a lot of you guys have updated to the latest iOS 17 update. You're probably enjoying a lot of the new features. However, in this video, I wanted to talk about some of the things Apple doesn't tell you that could happen after you update your iPhone. And I also wanted to share some last minute details that Apple has provided in terms of features and all that good stuff. So let's just go ahead and dive right into this video. So the first thing I would like to talk about, and this is something that Apple just typically doesn't tell you, is how's the battery and the performance after you update to iOS 17. Now, keep in mind, if you're running iOS 16 and you update to the next major update, obviously, iOS 17, you may encounter your device battery drain a little bit quicker than usual. Now, this could be due to two things. Number one, battery isn't optimized just yet entirely to this operating system and to your device just yet, but give it a couple of days because keep in mind, when you're updating from iOS 16 to iOS 17, this is an entirely new operating system. For example, if you go, let's say, to apply a wallpaper, you may notice that some of your wallpapers may not populate. You may see a lot of loading, as you just saw there. When you install the latest iOS 17, as you can see right there, it's re-indexing everything into place. You see, it's reloading everything. So this can take a day or two after you update from iOS 16 to iOS 17, which is a major update in order for your iPhone to catch up with everything that it needs to add. As you can see right there, it's still adding things here to my wallpaper you may notice that your live wallpapers are just not there yet see there finding the actual live wallpaper still working on that and this is my iPhone 14 Pro Max which I've updated from the RC to the official release and as you can see right here it is still indexing things in place for example the photo shuffle options in some cases wouldn't load properly now about a day later it is working properly for me so a lot of this stuff can take time to actually load and re-index into your device and that time frame could be a day or two and for that time you may notice that your iPhone number one may freeze slightly or may be slightly slower than usual and you may see that the battery may drain a little bit quicker than it did when you were running iOS 16. Now this isn't an issue specifically with iOS 17 it's just the way things work right you're reinstalling an entirely new operating system on your iPhone. Now Spotlight is a big one as well I see that a lot of you guys are saying that Spotlight we're having issues where it's freezing so for example if you type in the word settings you get a lot of these new toggles and options and Spotlight has just been redone with iOS 17 so it takes time to populate and re-index everything in place on your iPhone and again you may notice your battery may drain slightly quicker and in some cases you may notice that your iPhone may freeze for a second or two now this isn't a specific issue once again to the operating system or the iPhone that you're using it's just natural behavior when an iPhone is updated to a major operating system for the software to take time to catch up so give it about a day or two and then come back and share your thoughts on battery and performance which by the way I'll have a full follow-up video for you guys here in the next 48 hours once my iPhone is completely done indexing everything back into place so stay tuned for that. Next I want to talk about a few details of things that Apple didn't tell you with the release notes of iOS 17 and I want to start off with clean energy charging. Now in iOS 17 if we go into the home application we have this new option here on the top where you can tap and it takes you to the energy tab. Now this energy tab gives you a grid forecast for the energy when it's clean energy coming into your home and now you also have additional information so if we tap on this platter here it explains how Apple is getting this done how they determine when clean energy is being delivered that way you can choose whether to charge at those times or not but you can also turn on notifications by clicking on this bell right here in the platter just like so you get the pop-up right here so you can get notified when clean energy is being delivered to your home that way you sort of learn the schedule and and charge your iPhone at times when cleaner energy is being delivered. That way you can reduce your carbon footprint. Keep in mind doing this for millions of iPhones across the world and here in the US can actually have a big impact. So this is something Apple really didn't mention, the ability to turn on the notifications for clean energy and the fact that we have a platter here telling us all about it. So just wanted to mention that. Now the last thing I want to talk about is Apple has now made it possible to restore an Apple TV using a trusted iPhone. And this is huge news and you may be thinking thinking, why is this important? Well, just keep in mind, if this comes to the iPhone and the iPad, you'll be able to restore your Apple devices without the need of a computer. So if you don't live next to an Apple store and your iPhone just crashes, but you have another iPhone with the same Apple ID that's working, you can actually potentially in the future restore other iPhones and iPads with just your iPhone that's connected to the same Apple ID. Now keep in mind, Apple has made this available for the Apple TV initially. Your Apple TV TV 
set-top box needs to be running tvOS 17 and your iPhone needs to be running iOS 17. And if your Apple TV has any issues and you see this icon on the screen, that means you can bring your iPhone close to the Apple TV set-top box and restore that Apple TV without the need to connect in the Apple TV or bring it to an Apple store. So this is huge news, guys, because in the future, we'll most likely see this come to the iPhone and the iPad where you'll be able to restore any of your Apple devices that are linked to the same Apple ID by simply bringing close another trusted device to restore those iPhones or iPads or Apple TV. This is huge news. Apple has made this available with iOS 17, tvOS 17, and I think in the future, here soon with the next releases of iOS 17, this could be coming to iPhones as well. This is something that Apple just didn't tell you about. I wanted to make you guys aware. And again, guys, if you're having any battery drainage issues, if you're having any freezing issues, just give iOS at least a day or two. Come back to my follow-up video. I'll share with you guys additional details and anything else I may come across in terms of battery performance, bugs, and features. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.